I was able to get hundreds of you whitelist access to a revolutionary node project which is trying to compete with Google and Bing. These nodes run on a PC. And if you purchase one, congratulations. You're going to want to watch this video because there are some key dates that you need to be aware of. And I'm going to show you how you can run those nodes. And if you missed out on those nodes, you still want to watch this video because I'm going to give you an opportunity where you can still buy some of these sold out nodes. In this video, I'll give you a brief overview of the TimP project. I'll give you key updates with the project, including how you can purchase some of these nodes and the dates and deadlines you need to be aware of so you don't lose any tokens. And lastly, I'll run through all the different options that you have to run one of these nodes. Right, let's get straight into this video. Right, before we talk about the nodes and the delegation, let's have a quick overview on what the Timpy project is. Now, Timpy is a crypto deepin project that uses real nodes deployed on PCs across the world to help build and grow the network. They're building a data network primarily through web indexing, which is crawling the internet, sorting, collecting, and storing data so that it can be available for large language models. And they're actually hoping to be the world's largest decentralized web index. So it's super exciting times for the Timpy project. And they have a series of nodes that can be deployed across PCs to deliver this objective. The Geocore, the Collector, the Guardian and the Synaptron node. And each of these four nodes have a different function with regards to this project. The project does have a token that is listed. The market cap is sitting at around three cents and the all time high was around five cents. And we're hoping that this as the project grows, the token grows alongside it. It's a very low market cap with the potential to grow quite a lot. Now, I did make an in-depth video about the Timpy project. I'll have a link in the description and also in the top right hand corner if you want to watch that to get an in-depth review on what they are trying to do. Right. So before I go into how you can delegate these nodes and start earning, I just want to give you some of the updates on the project. So as you know, in the last video, I was able to get a lot of you on the whitelist for the sales of the Guardian node and the Collector node. Now, these are all sold out. So congrats to you that we're able to get in on the whitelist and also make use of the discount code that I was able to provide and if you still want to get hold of a node actually there is one way that you can do that and that's through the website node factory now this has been endorsed by the timpy project and i heard about node factory from my good friend crypto jar and if you don't follow him already make sure that you do subscribe to his channel now crypto jar is actually involved in this project and what this project allows you to do is actually buy shares in nodes if you don't have the ability to buy one or if they are sold out and they've actually got a number of shares left if you want to purchase one of these you can go over to this website i'll have a link in the description and you can purchase them so that's the first bit of news the nodes are sold out but you can actually still buy some shares in them right so the second update is that there are some dates that you need to be aware of with regards to the project so the 23rd of august is when the apex 2 starts now apex is simply when they stress test these nodes and after that you can start earning so you want to make sure that you're delegated before that date it's the same for the collector node so i would say get them set up as soon as possible at least by the 21st of august so that you don't lose out on any of the rewards and as I mentioned, the Guardian nodes are Founders Edition nodes, which means that they get a 50% rewards boost. So that's just an extra bonus if you manage to get your hands on those nodes. Right, so how do you set up your Timpy nodes? Well, you've got two options. Option one is you can set them up yourself on your own computer. And if you head into the Discord for Timpy, they actually have some tutorials, instruction booklets for you to be able to do that. Now they have a Windows tutorial for the Collector node, and there's only a Linux tutorial for the Guardian node. And as far as I'm aware, you can only run these on a Linux or alternative, not on Windows. I could be incorrect, and I'll put a comment in the description if I am incorrect on that. So if you want to set up, you can actually do it yourself. And if you want some help on how to do it yourself, I'm not going to go through that here. I'm going to direct you to my good friend, Deep Inspiration Hub, because he's done a setup guide for Timpy on Linux. Now, I actually found that to be quite complicated, and I want this to be as passive as possible because I don't want to have to update my nodes or have to set them up on a Linux. But if you want to do that yourself and save the extra money, I'll put a link in the description to him. So what's the second option? The second option is to pay a hosting provider and Node Orbit actually have the opportunity to host the Timpy Guardian and it's 25 dollars a month. That's the option I'm going to go with because I don't want to risk my nodes being offline on my own computer in case my internet goes down or I don't have a good connection and I lose rewards. I'd rather just pay the amount and have it running on here. So let me talk you through a step by step of how you can delegate on Node Orbit. Step one is to click the link in the description. Now that is a referral code so I do get a kickback from that. Once you do that, it'll give you the opportunity to log in or to sign up to Node Orbit. If you click sign up, you'll get to a page here. You'll enter your email address and your password and then you'll get an email that you need to connect 
confirm. Once you do that, you'll be into the dashboard. After that, you can click the link in the description that's going to accept your referral code. And then you can click on purchase nodes here. Go down and scroll down till you get to Timpy Guardian and click buy now. Go to payment. And here you can enter in your details. They do take payment by card. In the promotion code, I'll have the text in the description, but you can paste my referral code if you want to add that to your order. And then you can click subscribe. Wait a few minutes and then I'll take you through to the next step. After you've purchased your node, what you want to do is go to dashboard. And here in the dashboard, you're going to see Timpy Guardian and it's going to show a IP address. Now you're going to want to copy that IP address. Once you've done that, the next step is to register on Timpy. I'll have a link in the description for you. So once you're here on the registration page, you're going to want to connect your Kepler wallet. Now this is the wallet that you provided once you bought the NFT and it was airdropped to you. And the Kepler wallet is the wallet that is best used for this. After you've connected and you scroll down, you'll see whichever nodes you've purchased. So I'm going to choose here the Guardian node. Now because I'm using Node Orbit, an external source, I'm going to click on here. And here I'm going to paste the IP address that was taken from the Node Orbit dashboard. I'm going to click Register Guardian node. I'm going to double check the information and I'm going to click OK. Now what it's going to show on the screen is my wallet address and my GUID. I'm going to copy that GUID because I need to enter this into Node Orbit. Here I'm going to go to Actions, Update Node Data. And I'm going to enter the GUID right here and then I'm going to click Update. And it's as simple as that. My node should be updated automatically. Now, when I go to my dashboard, it shows that my status is starting up. I'll check back in a day or two just to make sure that this is up and running. You can always check the status on the registration website as well. As you know, I've just set it up so it's not active. Now, it would be a similar process for the collector node. Because I'm looking to delegate this through Node Orbit, their option is not available yet, but I'm expecting this to go online anytime soon. But the process would be exactly the same. Enter the IP address, collect the GUID, and then paste it into here. I'm super excited for this Apex event and I'll keep you updated on my rewards once these nodes go live. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and if you missed out on this whitelist or you're interested in other whitelist node projects, why not check out this whitelisted node project over here. Right, that's it from me. I'll catch you in the next video.